Yeah, I'm Ben. Welcome to Video Marketing Unscripted, where I answer your video marketing questions. I should have breathed before I started to say that. Hi, I'm Ben. Welcome to Video Marketing Unscripted, where I answer your video marketing questions completely unprompted. I reject your reality and substitute my own. Anthony, what's our question today? Well, Ben, today's question is from Matt in Oriental, North Carolina. And he would like to know, what are the best resources for music when putting a video together? Okay, good question. So, one of the things that not a lot of people know is that you can't just use any song uh, when you're posting a video online. You actually have to get permission and likely pay for permission to use that. So, if you want to try to use a popular song, get ready to pay out like forty, fifty thousand dollars Otherwise, you're just going to be using it illegally, and then if you put it on YouTube or something like that, end up with ads or it being monetized or worse yet, even just pulled. So don't try to use popular music in your videos. It won't work. So what do you do? Well, you've got to go to a royalty-free stock music library. And there are a whole bunch out there, and they range from like free to use with maybe attribution or even no attribution to uh, custom scores and things like that that can get kind of pricey. So a couple examples uh, that we like to use, and I'll kind of start on, on the cheap end, uh, the free end in fact, is the YouTube audio library. So the YouTube audio library has a whole bunch of songs and sound effects that you can use for your videos, not just stuff you're posting to YouTube. One of the nice things is there's a little drop down that you can select attribution or no attribution. So you could actually uh, limit your search to songs that require no attribution and you don't even have to credit them. If they require attribution, you'll have to usually credit them in the description, who wrote the song, what song it is, maybe even link to where it can be downloaded. Um, another option is Audio Jungle. It's part of the Envato network, and they've got a whole ton of stuff. A lot of it is very synthesizer-y and, and kind of electronic music stuff, but a lot of that can work really well. Clips start at like eight bucks, go up to maybe like $15, $19. We've got a ton of options. Um, decent place to, to kind of start if you want to get something a little bit above what might be in the YouTube audio library. Uh, one that we use quite a bit is premiumbeat.com. Uh, they've got an interesting mix of kind of electronic composers and then more, you know, some more actual bands where it's actual instrumentation, which kind of sounds nice. They've got a really easy pricing strategy. It's $49 for a standard license, and you can use that uh, in as many uh, videos as you want. You can use it on TV commercials. You can uh, use it on the web. You can do private use, whatever you want to do. $49, you got the song. Do whatever you want to do. Um, another option that we use a lot, it's a annual subscription and it's called Soundstripe. So we pay whatever the annual fee is and then we can go in and try and license any song we want. We can get the commercial license for for out and without any additional money and we can just kind of go in there and that's usually where we start because we pay for the annual subscription. Another really good service that gets to be a little bit more expensive is Marmoset Music. Uh, one of the things that you can do with Marmoset Music is actually reach out to their staff and have them help you select songs. Uh, give them an idea of what the project is. They can even give you some custom quotes. They've also got an option where you can just search through. They've got a lot of real bands, a lot of indie bands, um, a lot of uh, kind of more, uh, what am I going for with real bands? Um, so at Marmoset, a lot of their artists are like real bands as opposed to maybe just one guy making music on his computer. Um, so it's kind of got a, you know, more of a, a real feel to it, some higher quality selections. You do pay for that. Um, they've got a whole bunch of different licensing structures, but they're also really great to reach out to and they'll help you with your project. Now then, of course, you could always search your local area or I suppose online for composers who will actually do completely custom scores. Um, I don't know exactly how you find them, so I'm probably not even going to go into that much, but you know, Google it. So Matt, I hope that answers your question. If you've got a video marketing question that you'd like me to answer, put it in the comments or fill out the form on our site. You're welcome.